Hey guys, Shocker from Shocky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to activate a fantastic new feature that is available with the latest updates. So first, let me show you what I'm talking about, and then we're going to show you how to set this thing up. So let me go to my lock screen, and let me double tap on the screen to wake it up, and look at that effect. That was the slice effect. Now let's do the same thing one more time, and now you can see the brand new flip effect. And here's one more example before we dive in, as you can see. That was beautiful. Let's get started. All right, so we've been getting countless new updates to Samsung smartphones via GoodLock application, which now make this brand new feature available where you can have transition effects on your lock screen. So what you want to do is you want to grab the GoodLock application. So I have it right over here. I'm going to go right inside. Here's the GoodLock application. And then once you have the GoodLock application, you are going to need the recently updated Wonderland application. So in my case, it is already installed. I'm going to tap on it. It's going to take me to the Wonderland customization app. Now, before I dive in, if you need to download the GoodLock application, use the link down below. When you click it, it's going to take you to my website. And once you are at the website, you can scroll down under download. You can click the link right here. That's going to take you to the store from where you can, in fact, install the GoodLock application. And again, once you are in the GoodLock application, you simply want to download and enable Wonderland. Now, let me show you. If I tap on more and go to the store, you can see we have a recent update that has added all these new features with updates to the transition effect I talked about. So now let me show you how to set it up and show you the new transition effects. All right. So again, I'm going to go back to good luck over here just to keep it simple. Tap on Wonderland. We're going to be in the Wonderland. What you want to do is you want to tap on create different lock screen effects. Again, this itself is not new, but it's getting updates to make it better. So basically all you do is you have a bunch of presets here, which are boring, but what you do is you tap on plus. Okay. Once you tap on plus, you get this screen. And then the first thing you want to do is you want to pick a wallpaper. You tap this guy right over here and here's the lock screen wallpaper. This is a new addition. It now supports always on display, which I'm really not that interested in. So I'm going to show you the lock screen portion. So tap on this wallpaper icon and it's going to take you to your gallery. From there, pick a wallpaper that you want. Then you can see the preview. You can do the same thing for always on display, but I'm going to skip that for now. You can come back to it and play with it yourself. Let me just show you the lock screen situation. So I'm going to tap on done. Once you tap on done, you have this additional option right over here. Now that's the effects screen. So if I tap it, now you can see I have the CRT effect, the pixelate effect, the ripple effect. Now these are existing effects, but if I scroll over, you can see they added three new effects the hexagon effect, the slice effect, and the flip effect, okay? And again, if I go over here, you can see them listed right over here. So I'm going to go back over here, okay? And basically, I'm going to pick my effect. I'm going to tap on slice as an example, tap on done. Then you have these two options. This one allows you to change the time. You can make it faster, slower, smaller, bigger, and you can change the direction based on your needs. I'm going to keep it at default effect settings, tap on done. And the final step is to actually tap on save and you have to save your wallpaper. Tap on save. And once it is saved, you want to tap on set as wallpaper. Okay. It's going to say getting ready. Now, when I go out, let's go out over here to the lock screen. You can see we have the brand new slice effect without the always on display enabled. Now I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to show you one more thing. If you create one wallpaper, you can go back and you can edit it. So tap on this again and you can tap on edit. All right. And you can go back to the effect and pick the hexagon effect. For example, tap on done and then tap on this to overwrite existing wallpaper. And also after you overwrite tap on set to make sure it is on the screen. All right. And there we go. That's the hexagon effect. This is beautiful new effects to an existing feature. The updates make it better. Now, one more thing I want to show you guys. If I go to the settings, all right, right here, and if I scroll down to lock screen, I can enable my always on display and I can do show always. Okay. So the always on display is going to pop up. Now, when I double tap it, 
you can see I'm not really that happy with the way, with the way that looks. The clock goes up, down, left and right. So it's not really that cool, all right? So what I do is I keep the always on display disabled for now just so I can actually enjoy the effects on the screen without any interruptions from the always on display. But that's it, the new update brings new effects, the lock screen transitions, and again, you can go back and you can look at these other things over here, which are also great, but this is the one that stands out to me the most. Now here you can see there is a little asterisk with the update. When you have the always on display enabled, it still has some problems. So that's why I like to keep the always on display turned off. All right, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.